Okay, so today I'll be introducing you to my PhD research on the incorporation of internal pathogenic nematodes and fungi into the codling moth control strategy. <coughs> so the codling moth is one of the most successful pests in the world and is also a very adaptive pest, making it very difficult to control as it's been exposed to a variety of environmental and climatic conditions. Um, that's just to highlight this, over 70% of insecticides sprayed in apple orchards are sprayed to control this pest. Um, due to the stringent chemical um, regulations as well as resistance, it has become necessary to focus on alternative control measures to control this pest. And this is where my research comes in on the interpathogenic fungi as well as the nematodes. Both of these organisms naturally occur within the soil and are thus environmentally friendly and are also compatible with um, a range of IPM techniques as well as the spray equipment that is currently used in orchards. So the nematode enters the host and kills it within 48 hours. It then feeds on the host and once food resources are depleted, it exits in search of new hosts back into the soil. Whereas the fungi, the um, propagule attaches to the, uh, the host, um, after which it germinates and kills the larvae within seven days. So we collected soil samples around apple orchards in the Western Cape. The soil samples were then brought back to the lab and then baited with insects. They were then inverted and uh, we monitored the samples daily. The cadavers were then removed and if it's suspected that the insect was killed by a nematode, they were placed on white traps. Um, and then the nematodes will then move into the water surrounding that white trap and then that water is then harvested and stored for future use. If suspected that it was killed by a fungus, it was placed onto agar and then also stored for future use. So in my double trouble trial, where I looked at the effect of nematodes and fungi on the control of the codling moth, I used 24 well bioassay plates. The uh, 50 larvae were used per treatment and we dipped the larvae in the fungal suspension and then placed them in closed plastic containers at 25 degrees Celsius and monitored them for up to seven days. Mycosis proved that it, this was positive control by the fungus. If there was no mycosis or growth of another organism, we uh, regarded this as natural death. My treatments were an EPN only treatment, an EPF only treatment, then EPN and EPF applied on the same day, after which EPNs were applied to the fungal treatments 24 hours to 96 hours later. Of the um, EPFs isolated in my study, 43% were uh, Metorizempingensa, which is the fungus with the green spores and 7% were Bavaria baziana, which is the fungus with the white spores. So in my concentration trials, uh, basically just proved that the higher the concentration, the faster your control. Um, at the lower concentrations, you get the same amount of control, but about two to three days later. So in my double trouble trials, um, this is what I found. I just simplified this graph by putting it onto an Excel graph. So these treatments were applied on the same day and the first treatment was my EPN treatment and as you can see there we got just under 100% control whereas with the EPF treatment we got just over 80% control but that's only four days after treatment and when combined we got 100% control. So in the treatments where I applied the fungus first I got only 20% control and as soon as I added the nematode I got 100% control within 48 hours. Then I looked at pupae, and what was interesting was that my fungal treatment alone was more effective than when combined with an EPN, as the fungal treatment resulted in 80% control, whereas when combined with EPN, it, they seemed to have an antagonistic effect and um, only resulted in 60% control. So to conclude regarding larvae, the um, Bavaria and Steinem Jeffrey and Nematode seem to work together synergistically or additively, but regarding pupae, um, it is recommended that you apply the fungus alone without the nematode. Thank you.